It's bleach day and I'm actually really, really excited. I've been wanting to go lighter and brighter for a while now. I will be using my handy dandy little highlighting comb. I got this thing on Amazon. It was like $7. I've had it forever. I've used it time and time again. I know that it works, so I'm gonna keep using it. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Deandra and I post lots of hair videos, not only highlights, but I also cut my own hair and just have fun with hair and try to switch it up quite a bit actually. I do also share some fashion hauls in between affordable fashion like Amazon and Walmart. If you enjoy that kind of thing hit the subscribe button down below and join the fam. Now that we know each other let's go ahead and get started with these highlights. I do have day four hair by the way. I didn't put any dry shampoo or anything in it. I just really let the oils build up because I did plan to do this tonight. I do also have this huge tub of Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bleach. This is a 30 volume developer. I paid 50 bucks for this back in 2020 and I've gotten so many uses out of this. So buying a tub of bleach is totally worth it. These came together from Amazon. I will leave everything linked in the description box below. As you can see, my hair is pre-colored. I don't really know like like what it's gonna do. So I will stop at Sally's and grab a toner if I need it. I'm gonna start just from the bottom and work my way up. So I would say that's about like an inch thick section. So the back of this says one to one and a half. So I'm gonna take a full scoop of bleach, a scoop and a half of developer. That looks pretty smooth to me. For the comb, you wanna hold the side up that you're using and then you're gonna take your strand of hair, lay it flat on top of the comb and then just kind of work it through until you can drag your finger in between the two sections without catching any hair. Kind of wanna make sure that it's even on top and bottom. That looks pretty even to me. Then I'm just going to clip back the bottom section just like that. And this time I'm going to tease my hair before I put bleach on it. I actually don't think I've ever teased while also using the combs. I am going to be wearing gloves today. Brad Mondo recently reacted to my highlights fail video and was freaking out that I did not have gloves on in that video. Honestly, I wiped the bleach off in between sections because obviously I can't transfer all that bleach while I'm sectioning and stuff and it really didn't hurt me all that much but he was like concerned for my whole life so someone tag him and let him know that I did get a good pair of gloves from Amazon and these actually do have texture so it kind of does help me spread the bleach around. I'm just gonna take a little bit of bleach on that fingertip blending down the saturated and then kind of just like feathering it up. I'm just gonna take a foil and try to wrap it as clean as possible without scrunching it up too much. Never said I was a professional. <laughs> <laughs> that foil took me some time, but I am happy with it. It feels secure. I've been trying to work on my foil game. So now I'm just gonna remove the gloves and then repeat the process on this side. Now I'm just going to create the next section. This one right here is just holding up my bangs. I wanna take maybe like one inch sections, meaning that this section is gonna be about an inch wide using my cones. Just kind of working it through there. I'm gonna separate the top and the bottom section, clip back the bottom, then I'm gonna tease. Starting in the middle and blending down to saturate. And then once you get to the top, just kind of feather it so that there's not a harsh line there. Taking it on the inside as well. And then we're gonna just repeat the process on this side. Now I've gotten to the section that's a little bit wider. What I'm gonna do is take this strand in half, 
section off four strands rather than just two because you don't wanna try and section off too much hair at one time, then it just becomes a big old mess. So the smaller the sections, the better. It's just so much easier to work with. Tease them separately. We're gonna apply the bleach separately. So now I'm just gonna repeat the process all the way to the top section. It's pretty repetitive. You guys know what to do. Just work your way up in one inch sections, separating each side into two. And make sure you tease, make sure you blend at the top saturate everything and it should go pretty smoothly. Now for these bangs. I think I'm just gonna tease them, honestly. I might just paint a little streak here and just kind of feather it. Just wrapping these up. It's been about 30 minutes. This top strand does not match this bottom one, so I'm gonna wrap this back up and let it sit for about 15, 20 more minutes. I'm back and my hair is orange. Also, I made a hasty decision and went to Walmart instead of Sally's. And I originally went there for the Color Silk hair dye. They do actually have a lot of toning kits at Walmart now. So I went ahead with this one. This is by L'Oreal Feria. It's the After Bleach and Highlights Power Toner. They only had two colors in stock. One was an ice blonde and the other was a pearl blonde, which is the one that I got. On the back, it says that it is conditioning, it's fast, it gives a gorgeous tone in five minutes, and it's lasting. I did notice that on the bottom right here, it says that it is a demi-permanent toner. Normally, if I was gonna go to Sally's, I would have picked up a demi-permanent color to tone my hair, which I have used on my hair before. Just check my hair playlist down below. This is a DIY channel. We're gonna try Box DIY Power Toner and I'm excited to get started. So I do have clean, dry hair. It's really orange up front, which I kind of already expected based on what the bleach looked like last night. Also, this part of my hair is sort of like virgin hair. It's had a little bit of bleach, but definitely not as much as the bottom. I do think I'm gonna start at the top just because that's where it's the most orange. I need it to process the longest. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and paint it on. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the root. I'm just focusing on the highlighted area. And then I just use my hand to spread it down. I am fully saturated and I did just take all my sections down to run the wide tooth comb through all my hair. I just rinsed out this toner. I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't gonna fully get out my orange because it is a little bit lighter than my hair color. It did get out the orange on the bottom. I've made the executive decision to bleach the top section. Like look how pretty that color is, but this color still looks a little bit orange. So I'll probably just do these two sections. Basically, I'm just going to half it just like I did when I was originally dyeing it. This time though, I think I think I'm gonna take the smaller section, the one with the smaller teeth. I went ahead and just clipped off my bangs. I'm going to tease again, just making sure I tease on the top, on the sides, and on the bottom for the bangs. I am, again, just going to tease 
I'm gonna take the brush and I'm gonna saturate that. I had to go to Sally's. Here's the deal. I think if I would have just gone ahead and re-bleached it from the beginning before I tried toning it, I would have ended up with this really nice color under here. I would have tried this maybe like a year ago. I would have just given up. I'm determined. I spent way too much time on this to give up. So I went to Sally's. This is what I got. The Color Charm 8A in the color Light Ash Blonde. This is a demi permanent color. And I also picked up the Color Charm Additive. This is the Cooling Violet. I already had the Color Charm Activating Lotion. This is made specifically to go with the demi permanent color. I'm gonna do one parts this, two parts this, and then since this is an additive, I think I'm gonna do four capfuls. It says add two to four, so I'm just gonna go for the whole shebang and add four, so let me mix that up, and then I think I'm just gonna end up toning my whole hair that way. It all ends up the same color. Please let this be the last time I apply toner. I'm just gonna start at the top saturating everything. Basically, I'm just gonna take small sections like that, apply on the top and apply on the bottom, all the way down this side and all the way down the back. So with the power of editing, now we'll see the results. <laughs> okay, we're not orange anymore, which is amazing, but I kind of hate this color. Not that I hate it because it is a nice, like ashy, color not what i wanted i wanted light and bright for the springtime and this is just not that i'm not gonna settle because i've done this much work so i'm gonna get what i want <laughs> my hair does actually still feel pretty healthy i mean it's not at its healthiest but it also wasn't that healthy to begin with and if my hair is gonna not be healthy i might as well have it the color that i want it to be so i went to kroger i ended up getting the garnier nutrice ultra color this one is ultra light natural blonde and i picked this one out of everything in that aisle because it said high lift without bleach i noticed that that color was pulling up my root color too duh because it's a high lift color it's gonna lift all the color in my hair so I probably should have just grabbed a color oops, but I have bleach, I have volume 10 developer, and I have a shampoo. So I'm just gonna do a bleach bath. I'm gonna do half a scoop of bleach, and then I'm gonna do a full scoop of volume 10 developer, and I'm also gonna do a full scoop of shampoo. I'm going to saturate my hair in this like bleachy shampoo. I don't even care about a cape anymore. Like this is my hair color t-shirt. Also there is mascara on my chair. Now you know why I don't really care to have bleach or hair dye on this chair. I just strategically cover it with that leopard print little throw. I feel like color oops is pretty damaging too. I could be wrong. What do I know? I'm not a professional. If you know, tell us in the comments. I'm just saturating this bleach. It is diluted bleach. I'm just going in with it, honestly. I'm trying to get that light bright color back. Good morning. I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half now, just contemplating life choices. I did manage to get it back to this orange color, so we are at square one. It's an art project. It's either gonna be Picasso at the end or a Monet where it's cute from afar, but up close, like not so much. Right now, it's leaning towards a full on Monet. <laughs> I think I've decided that I'm gonna do another bleach bath. This time I'm gonna use blue shampoo. This is the Fanola No Orange one. I'm also gonna add in the Olaplex number three since I am 
going to rinse out my hair. Also gonna use a volume 30 developer. I did use a volume 10 last night, but I'm out of it. So we're working with what we got. I figure that it might be better to go as light as possible so that I could tone it down instead of trying to tone it, getting nowhere, having to bleach again, and then going through this whole process all over again so we're gonna lighten as much as possible with one more bleach bath and we'll see where we're at i'm gonna use the same exact technique which is basically just slap it on my hair so let's get started this is where my hair is at after the bleach bath it's crazy but i'm not mad at it my hair does I mean, it feels damaged, obviously, because I've bleached it several times and it did have pre-existing damage, but it still feels pretty strong and at least it's not breaking off. I did go to Sally's again. I was gonna risk it and just mix these two, but I ended up getting the Wella Liquid Hair Toner and T11. I do still want like a beigey warmth to my hair, so I'm gonna mix these two and then tone all of the bottoms. When I did the bleach bath, it bled a little and my roots are struggling. So I ended up getting the Color Charm in 4N Medium Natural Brown. I know that this goes darker and that's okay because my hair is pretty dark naturally. I got a, <laughs> shut up. Brayden told me I should go back, back dark. <laughs> Damn, you I'm fucked gonna... up. <laughs> Get out of here. But you still look good. Look how AF. red my face is. <laughs> Thanks, babe. babe. I appreciate your support. Babe, rock that for a day or two. No, <laughs> absolutely not. She said, absolutely not. Hey. I'm Ellie with the, hey, with the not, ring light. It's not your Instagram time. For the Demi Permanent Dye, I ended up getting this Demi Permanent Developer. Yeah, Brayden already told me that I should go back dark. I really don't want to. I'm determined to make this work. I know that this can work. I do want to get the toner on first. And basically, I'm just saturating all my hair because all my hair needs to be toned at this point. So this is what that toner did to my hair. I am on the verge of giving up, but I had this hair dye. So I'm just gonna apply it because I have it. It's the Golden Blonde Color Silk Hair Dye. It was green on these money pieces and a whole mess. So we're gonna try it out. I actually don't hate it. I did get a nice golden blonde color. It does need a little help. So I am gonna do a root smudge. I've done one in the past and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna start on the bottom Bottom, just like I did with the bleach and we're gonna take a section now I'm just gonna take that medium natural brown color and I'm gonna apply at the root then I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and comb it through all the way down Now I'm gonna take down another layer. Do the same thing again on my roots. Taking the wide tooth comb and dragging that all the way down. I do see light at the end of this tunnel though. For a second, I did not, and I was about to go back all the way brown until I put on that color silk color. I did say I wanted lighter and brighter. That's definitely what I got. Our money piece is dead, cause I feel like I'm about to kill mine off. I'm gonna start in the back right here. Thank you. 
I do want a little bit of dimension, so I am making sure to blend that all the way down. We're gonna repeat the process on this side and my hands are dyed. <laughs> I wanted to show you how I did the money piece. So I just feathered down like this and then instead of brushing it down, I just pulled it up, feathered it up like that and then you're gonna take the comb, feather it up slightly, feather it down and you also want to make sure that the underneath root is smudged. Here are my results. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I lost hope halfway through this whole process, but it definitely turned out the tone that I wanted, which was a golden warm tone. I didn't want to be like super ashy blonde. I wanted like brunette with highlights. You know, and I think I achieved that. I'm not gonna lie and say that it's perfect because again, I'm not a professional. There is this spot right here that I could not get to lift, which is kind of annoying me, but I'm just gonna strategically tuck it. Overall, though, I am very satisfied with this hair color. It was worth all the struggle to get it to be the actual color that I actually wanted. If you're gonna do this, do it at your own risk. I would say definitely do one level darker on your root section and then a lighter color on your ends, which is what I did in my toning my roots video. I really should have gone back and watched my own videos before I started this process because I feel like once I panicked, all of that knowledge Flew out the window. Luckily, I calmed down, got a night's rest, and achieved this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that it helped you out. Again, I'm not a professional. Do this at your own risk. Do a little bit of research. It was an emotional roller coaster for sure. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm sure I'll be back experimenting with my hair in the next month or so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye.